Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn algebra. Today is our lesson number 106. One hundred and six. We are in the process of learning. We are in the process of learning how to solve word problems. Let's see what we have for today. Here's a question. D dollars is to be divided equally among That doesn't look like a right spelling for among. How does one spell among? I'm not sure about the spelling, okay? D dollar is to be divided equally among P people. P number of people. The question simply is how much does each person get? How much does each person get? Well, again, if it makes it easier for you, if it makes it simpler for us to handle this thing, we can plug in numbers first and see what the answer works out to be. And we can use the same logic to find the algebraic answer. It's very simple. We have d amount of dollars. We don't know what d is obviously because it's the algebra problem. We do not know the values of the p variable. And we have p number of people. Let's plug in. If we say, for example, if we were to say if $14, if $14 is to be divided equally among two people, how much does each person get? Well, 14 over 2, obviously. 14 over 2. Exact same logic would apply exact same logic will apply when we're dealing with the algebra problem. We have d dollars is to be divided among p people. So each person gets each person gets d over p dollars. d divided by p dollar. d is the value which we do not know. p has a value. So whatever d has the value of that value divided by the value of p that's how much each person gets d over p. And that's it. What I want to do next actually has nothing to do with algebra at all, but we want, I want to do something uh, to reinforce something that we learned a long time ago, uh, and you will see in a second what it is. Let's change the number. I'm going to change the numbers and you will see where, where I'm going with this thing. It has nothing to do with the algebra. The algebra part is done. Now we are doing arithmetic. Let's change this number. Instead of, instead of, uh, instead of 14, let's make it 711. If 711 is to be divided equally among three people, how much does each person get? Well, the answer is, the answer is 711 divided by 3. Now the question is, is 711 divisible by 3? Evenly divisible by 3, that's the question. To which the answer is, yes, 711 can be divided evenly into 3. How do we know it? By the rule that we learned a long time ago, which is if the sum of the digits of a number, if the sum of the digits of, of a number is divisible by three. then the number itself is divisible by 3. That's an exclamation mark, I don't... That's it. That's the rule. If the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, the number itself is divisible by 3. Is 711 evenly divisible by 3? Well, let's see. The sum of the digits for 711 would be 7 plus 1 plus 1, 7 plus 1 plus 1 is 9. Since 9 can be divided by 3 evenly, 711 is divisible by 3. 
So let's find out how much each person gets. 711 divided by 3. How many trees? How many trees in a 7? 7 has 2 trees. The remaining one goes and joins this guy and it becomes 11. This one goes and joins this guy becomes 11. How many trees in 11? There are 3 trees in 11 because 3 trees are 9. The remaining 2 goes and joins this guy becomes 21. 2 and 1, 21. How many trees in 21? There are 7 of them. Voila. And we can quickly verify that. We can very quickly verify our answer by multiplying 237 times 3. See what it gives us. It better give. It better give. Uh, it better give us a 711. Otherwise, we are in trouble. 7 times 3 is 21. That's 1. Carry 2. 3. 3 threes are 9. Plus 2 is 11. 1. Carry 1. 2 threes are 6 and 11. Voila. What do you know? We get our 711 back. What would have happened if instead of 711, if instead of 711, if we were told that 71,154 dollars is to be divided among three people? Can we divide that? Just our curiosity. Well, if 71,154 dollars is to be divided among three people, then we would have here 71,154. The very first thing we need to figure out is, is this number, we're done with 711, so I'm going to raise it. The very first thing we need to figure out is, is this number divisible by 3, evenly that is. Let's find out. 71,154, the sum of the digit is 7 plus 1 plus 1 plus 5 plus 4. 7 plus 1 is 8, 8 plus 1 is, 8 plus 1 is 9. And 9 plus 9 is 18. And since 18 is divisible by 3, this number is divisible by 3. Of course, it has to be divisible by 3 because we already established that 711 was divisible by 3 because it was 7 plus 1 plus 1, which is 9. And all we did, we added two more digits, which is 5 and 4, which is 9. The, the 5 and 4 add up to 9. So if the previous sum was divisible by 3 and the sum of the new digits is divisible by 3, whole number must be divisible by 3. Let's find out what it is. Let's divide that by 3. Nothing is going to change, it's same as before. You will see nothing is going to change. 7 divided by 3 is 2. The remaining one goes here, joins this guy, becomes 11. 11 divided by 3. 11 has how many 3's? 11 has 3 3's. 3 3's are 9. The remaining 2 goes and joins this guy, becomes 21. How many 3's in 21? 21 has 7 3, that takes care of this one. How many trees in 5? Five? 5 has only one tree. The remaining 2 goes and joins this guy, becomes 24. How many trees in 24? There are 8. There are 8 trees in 24. So the answer is everybody gets $23,718. Let's verify it. $23,718 times 3. Better give us what we started out with, which was $71,000. 154. 8 times 3 is 24. 4 carry 2. 3 ones are 3 plus 2 is 5. There is your 54. The rest is the same as before. 7 times 3 is 21. 1 carry 2. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2 is 11. Carry 1. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. Voila. That comma should not happen there. 71,000. $154 divided among three people will result in each person's share being 23718 And like I said before, this part has absolutely nothing to do with the algebra that we're learning right now. I just could not uh, control the urge to make sure that you remember this rule, which is a very simple rule. If the sum of the digits of a given number is divisible by 3, the number itself is divisible by 3. Now, if somebody were to ask you, let's raise all of this thing. I don't need, we don't need any of this thing here. 
Let's, let's do it at the bottom here. Instead of, instead of 71,154, if we had 55, what would happen if we were to divide this number by 3? Well, we would have a remainder of 1. Because this number, the sum of the digits here is 19. 5 plus 5 is 10, and 1 plus 1 plus 7 is 9. 19. 19 divided by 3 has a remainder of 1. So this number, if you were to divide by 3, will have a remainder of 1, as we already know. Uh, it has $23,718 three times, and then the remaining one will, will be the remainder. Anyway, I'm done for today. We are done for today. I will see you on, lesson, on day number two, uh, 107, tomorrow that is. Okay? Bye-bye.